Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Optronics LED combination taillight for trailers over 80 inches wide. Part number is STL83RB. Now for the passenger side, that part number is STL82RB. Here's what our light's going to look like installed. As you can see with the LEDs, you get really full bright color. The going down the highway, you can definitely see that the LEDs stand out as compared to the incandescent lights. Now these lights work out really well on all styles of trailers, but they do meet the specifications for the trailers over 80 inches wide. As long as you have them mounted on there properly, you'll be right with those specifications that are required. And since we are using LEDs rather than the filament style or incandescent bulbs, these are gonna last much, much longer. So you're not gonna have to worry about the lights not coming on when you're ready to head down the road and having to fumble around, find bulbs and replace them. They also use a lot less energy, so we're not drawing as much power through the lighting system to light these and the other lights you might have on your trailer. Now our driver side light here offers seven functions. Six of those are shared with the passenger side as well. For example, we've got our running lights, we're gonna have our brake light and our turn signal, but we're also gonna have the rear clearance light here and our side marker light here. In addition to that, we have the reflex reflector both here on the side and on the back. Now those are shared side to side. The only real difference we have with the driver's side would be that here on the bottom, we also have a white light designed to illuminate our license plate area. Now the lights are fully submersible. They've been sealed appropriately so they can come in and out of the water without experiencing any damage. However, we do recommend that you unplug your lights before backing in the water just to prevent any kind of shorting. Now in total, our light's gonna have 16 diodes to give us plenty of illumination. You can notice here that our mounting holes are on two inch centers. So from center to center, we've got just two holes. And even on the shorter bracket that we have here, this is a, a smaller boat trailer, but even on the shorter bracket, there was enough room for it to actually fit in place. And some of the longer, more rectangular shaped lights, you kind of lose the ability if your hole is too close to your trailer. So this can be a nice solution for you. And to begin the installation on our light, we're gonna take a small 5 16 inch ring terminal. You can see that's gonna slide right over our stud there. We're gonna place that on and get it crimped in place. Now with our ring terminal on there, we'll place our license plate bracket on our light. Get that put in position, then we can secure it with a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. You just wanna make sure your ground goes on one of your two studs. I like the one closer to the trailer just to keep it more protected. And we'll do the same thing for our other stud here. Once that's installed, we'll get it snugged down, then we can use our 10 millimeter socket and tighten it up. Now we can trim off our trailer wire there. You want to give yourself a little bit of slack. And also, I like storing some back here on this back side. So if you have too much, just get it tucked in there and zip tie it up and out of the way. We'll separate our wires. Now our brown needs to go to our black wire our yellow for our brake and turn signal, it's gonna to go to the red. Let me get all four of them stripped back appropriately. And on each of our wires there, we're gonna add a heat shrink butt connector, especially since this is on a boat trailer. Keep our connections very well protected so that these heat shrinks will shrink down and protect it so we won't have to worry about corrosion. Now the other side of those, I'm gonna to go to the appropriate wire. We'll use a heat source to shrink these down. You can use a heat gun, you can use a lighter or a mini torch. Just don't want to overheat it. You'll notice when it's fully shrank down, that wire looks like it gets bigger. There's a little clear gel that comes out of the end on them. Really does a great job of sealing up that connection so we won't have any issues. You can see here on the right side of the boat, we've done the exact same thing. The only difference is gonna be the green wire that comes out, that needs to go to the red. Or on the other side, we had the yellow wire going to the red. But you'll do brown to black, and then white to ground. And to give ourselves a little additional protection, we can use a piece of wire loom, just get those wrapped up. 
And with everything hooked up, let's test it and make sure it's working properly. Here we've got our running lights, our left turn signal, our right turn signal. and our brakes. That's going to complete our look at the Optronics LED combination taillights for trailers over 80 inches.